Well, if uh, you don't hear about them a lot, but one of the most crucial groups needed following any kind of natural disaster are these guys, the radio ham, the ham radio operators. Molly Posey joining us now with how those men and women are often the voice of help when all other forms of communications fail. That's right, Sarah. You know, there have been situations over the years across the country and right here in our area where those men and women who are amateur radio operators have really jumped into action. They've headed to scenes and in many cases, they've helped to save lives. With winds barreling towards the East Coast at 150 miles an hour, Hurricane Florence could knock out lines of communication for days. If she does, W4JVM to KJ4OPX. Amateur radio operators like J. Van Martin will be vital. Amateur radio is a means of communication without reliant on modern technology like cell phones or landlines. We can use batteries, whether it's normal conventional residential batteries or car batteries. We can set up an antenna practically anywhere. We are able to get to the site as quickly as probably anyone else, barring first responders, and we become a helpmate to these organizations. Martin, the head of amateur radio of Alabama, has seen like, such help this? during natural disasters yeah, like four. Hurricane Katrina Bad. and Snowmageddon. He especially remembers information camp operators were able to relay we about Bessemer through the April 2011 the tornado. They were not operators, but they were able to have a handheld scanner and they heard our information and they were able to seek shelter in time that uh, practically saved their life. So it has many aspects from the fun to the served to actually can we make a difference in somebody's life. And officials with the Jefferson County EMA certainly realize the benefit of being an amateur radio operator. In fact, several of their employees already are such. However, the entire department is currently getting trained and they hope to have everyone trained by mid-December should they need it in the future. We're live tonight. Melanie Posey, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.